Georgia has a lot of small towns, a lot of history, but here in America, there's probably the most history lurking below the surface of this charming small town. And if you're coming, you want to book a stay here at the Best Western Windsor Hotel. This is where all the ghost stories originate. So do you believe in ghosts? It's real. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you believe in ghosts? Yeah. What do you think ghosts are? People who are dead and they're now scary. What does a ghost look like? It looks like this white thing with no bottom on it. What, what sound does a ghost make? Ooh, ooh. Did you hear a ghost while we were here? Yes. In the spirit of Halloween, welcome to our national adventure as we're staying at the Windsor Hotel in Americus, one of Georgia's haunted hotels. When did you hear the ghost? Um, when we arrived and in the middle of the night. When we were sleeping, you heard something? Yeah. What did you like about this hotel? That it had a couch and a TV and that it had a big room. What did you not like about this room? That it had ghosts. Are you sure it had ghosts? Yeah, I heard boo. You heard boo in the night? Did it scare you? It made me wake up. Were you able to sleep very much? Mm-mm. You were scared or mm. were you brave? Scared. We were just checking in to the hotel and getting settled. Everybody had been driving a bit, so getting out some jiggles. Kids were excited, and Dad was exhausted. <laughs> so we got adjusted to the room before heading out. Where did you hear the ghost? On the third floor. We didn't go to the third floor, did we? Yes, we did. The third floor is the, is the spookiest floor. A ghost is basically like something that's clear. Have you ever seen a ghost before? Do you think this hotel is haunted? The story goes that there was an old housekeeper and her daughter who were allegedly pushed down the elevator shaft and today now roam the halls. Some say that they can hear the little girl running down the hallway, screaming and yelling, kind of giggling, having fun. And others just say that they feel a presence. Either way, it's always been said that it's a happy presence. Case in point for that friendliness would be Floyd. He is the second quote-unquote ghost here at the hotel. He was an old doorman years and years and years and years ago. However, some people still say that they can see him helping out guests in the front lobby. Floyd actually is somebody you can give a toast to. They have a Floyd's pub up on the second floor. There's plenty of seating. And if you ever feel like calling the ghosts, they've got a phone in the front lobby. is actually right behind us. That's neat. I'm gonna shut the door. There's no people here. It's lonely. One of the nice qualities about this downtown is that it is all locally run. On Sundays, everything closes down. And unfortunately, we were here on a Sunday and trying to find a bite to eat was difficult. It also added to the spooky or eeriness since we were staying in a hotel that was supposedly We're haunted. walking in the downtown and there's not a soul in sight. Yep. So just down the street is actually the Rylander 
Theater, and the Rylander Theater was known as the finest playhouse in the south of Atlanta. Jimmy Carter had used the auditorium at Rylander Theater for his birthday at times and had press conferences. Today the theater has a very friendly ghost named Frank who likes to help out. Your hands fit some of them? Yeah. My hand fits one. Which one? This one. Some say they can hear mop buckets clanking when no one's cleaning and seeing someone in the upper level only to find that no one is there. They have no explanation. When they come in, they like to say, Good morning, Frank. So we're walking through the downtown and it's literally empty. There's not a soul in the downtown. Um, <laughs> very strange. <laughs> Later that night, we got ready for bed. Um, you know, it was a different night for us, honestly. Everybody went to sleep really fast, but the air conditioning, which was set at 70, it kept going either very, very cold throughout the night or really, really hot. And when it would be really hot, we would wake up having a hard time to breathe. There was also a very strange crawl space above the bathroom and there was a noise coming from it, which kind of scared the girls throughout the night. Honestly, it kind of freaked me out too, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Hey, did you wake up with a little bit of a cough? How'd you like sleep in here? I think there's ghosts, and I think they have virus. <laughs> Oh, why do you say that? Because. Why, why do you say that? Because I'm, I'm coughing. As you woke up coughing? Uh-huh. The air was pretty uh, dry. dry and thick last night. The air was all over the place last night here. Yeah, it was hard to breathe. So, yeah, the air conditioning was going on and off, on and off, and I don't think it was maintaining one single level in here. Um, it could be just because the building is old and it might be an old air conditioning system. Plus the fan up here is going super fast or super slow. How'd you sleep last night? Good, but I heard the fan turn on and off which scared me like crazy. So you slept okay? Yeah, but I heard the fan turn on and off. I was kind of cold. Headed over to breakfast this morning. What was your favorite part of this hotel? Breakfast? Breakfast. Because it had chocolate chip pancakes and I really love that. We are the only ones here at the Rosemary Thyme this morning. We woke up early and the girls and we were all hungry so we came over to the Rosemary Thyme. We're in this beautiful dining area and we're and the only so ones here. Do you know what you want, Kiara? Yeah, I want the... Bel Belgian one. What are you ordering today? Waffles, chocolate waffles. Ooh, what about you, Andrew? I'm still torn between having the ham and cheese omelet and the blueberry waffle. Even though we were alone, aside from the waiter, it was beautiful, upbeat, and really a great place for breakfast. Yeah. Sing the original Adam's Family no, song right it. now. It's an Adam's Family song. They played quirky music, which we thought was amazing, and the food was really good. Is that good, Chloe? After having breakfast, we headed out to explore more of Sumter County, which is also considered haunted. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and join the adventure to never miss an episode.